Hey guys, we had an 1879 CC Morgan Silver Dollar come into the shop today. A lady brought it in. She even did the recording for a good portion of this video. As you'll see, the recording is flipped slightly. So guys, do check it out. We're going to let you know what we found out as we tested this. So stay tuned. of you just to, so I can just yeah see okay me looking at it not real that's without me picking it up without me testing it that's just from experience <laughs> and that's without my glasses too <laughs> you're just that good yeah no I just it He's just amazing. it just jumped out at me that much but again, I could be wrong. So, like I said, it's only a 90% chance of me cold, it's not real. Doesn't feel right on weight. Feels slightly light. Casting on the back. That's just a too clean cut. So see, you should give me this, you should forward this video to me and then I'll put it up on the YouTube channel. I would be happy to do that for you. No, um, so what we got here is 79cc. Supposed to weigh 26.7 grams, 73 grams. As you can see, it weighs 25, 24.7. It's jumping back and forth. So let's start the Sigma up on this. Um, can you get the door, please? Oh, where's yours? Where is it? You can go there or you can hit the door, whichever way you want to do it. Um, so let's put it on. 90% pre 1900. This is a 79 cc, supposed to be a real one, pre 1900. You're using the wand. It's off. It's what? It's off. So let's restart it with the same thing and just put it on here. There it is. Now, what it's supposed to do, if you look, it's supposed to be in between the parentheses and it's off to the side. Now, again, this is just two of the tests, the weight test and the Sigma. Another test is, is looking at it. And what I'm seeing with looking at it is I'm seeing casting remnants. It's, the letters just aren't shaped like that. As you can see, the letters are a little off. Yeah, it's definitely, it's off, it's been polished. A lot of times what people do is they will polish these coins to hide imperfections that they did in the casting process. So guys, we got a fake one, 1879cc, so be careful. If you're not sure, take your coins like these folks did to someone that is authorized, someone that knows about coins. So I, w I wish it was real because 79 CC is worth something. Yeah. Well, that's, he got it on eBay and the, the, there's no returns. And the, really? And the guy who yeah. sold it, you know, he got it from his grandfather. So he's insisting it's real, but people screwed people over back in that time too. So. Well, yeah, I've seen people. Yeah, I've seen people. They had the racketeer nickels. I've seen people on eBay, no returns. Um, when you buy off eBay, know who you're buying from too guys that is definite don't just buy from somebody that says i got it from my grandpa because you don't know that person could not maybe even be in the u.s so yeah so is there yeah. any value to this coin uh the this is not silver it doesn't look silver it's got the casting where it's been polished over and you can tell uh the weight is off it doesn't, it's just, it's just too many no, I'm not real signals okay. for this. Okay. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you. Hopefully this video has brought to your attention that when buying from eBay, if a seller says there is a no return policy, you still have legal recourse. Now, I am not what you would call 100% up to date on the eBay rules, as you would say, about their return policies. But I believe when I used to sell on eBay, 
if people said not as described, they got to return it. So again, you may want to check on the return policies for eBay. If you buy from eBay, please know the buyer you are buying from. Always thoroughly check out all the pictures to make sure that what you're getting, you believe, is real. So you do not get an 1879cc counterfeit. Thanks for watching.